A couple years after the publication of uh, Roland Barthes' essay, The Death of the Author, an essay that would in many ways change the way many literary critics and theorists uh, viewed the title of author and its significance when it comes to the uh, interpretation of a text. In 1969, a French philosopher, literary critic, and a political activist, Michel Foucault, best known for his uh, work, uh, Discipline and Punish, and his theories on uh, the relationship between power and knowledge, would give a lecture that looked at the relationship between author, text, and reader. Now, in my previous video where I discussed uh, Barth's um, The Death of the Author, I stated that Foucault's lecture was a response to Barth's, which isn't necessarily wrong, but what I should have said is that it could be taken as a response to um, Barth's essay, as it wasn't written as a direct response to Barth's only, but a response to the current trends of the time concerning uh, literary criticism, and uh, trends that really took off after Barth uh, published his essay. Though Foucault does not mention Barthes by name, he does mention the death of the author, as the notion itself, even outside the essay, was beginning to be um, very uh, 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 largely accepted in literary circles. In 1969, uh, Foucault would give a lecture delivered with his typical uh, historicizing approach, where he would discuss what he called uh, the author function. That lecture is, of course, what is an author. And today, on Attention, we'll take a look at what this term means and what this lecture contributed to the discussion uh, concerning literary theory and criticism. Where it is that Foucault differs in uh, his lecture from that of Roland Barthes' essay is primarily their perspective on the subject of authorship. Though Foucault's perspective, as we'll see, is distinct from Barth's, their conclusions are very similar, if not the same. Foucault looks at how the concept of author became individualized by way of examining a uh, historical timeline. Foucault is not so much concerned with how the author came to be conceptualized in society, but the relationship between the text, author, and how the text props up a figure that seems to be placed outside uh, the text itself. Here, both Foucault and Barthes take the concept of author and recognize it as being compliant to the ways in which a text is examined. Both understand the notion of the death of the author as being an elimination of a traditional characterization of author. However, Foucault takes notice at a significant consequence that resulted in the death of the author that Barth does not give attention to in his essay. Foucault states in his lecture, It is obviously insufficient to repeat the empty slogans. The author has disappeared or God and man died a common death. Rather, we should re-examine the empty space left by the author's disappearance, later stating, the subject should not be abandoned but reconsidered. To understand how Foucault uh, reconsiders the author, the most important term that he uses uh, that, that, that should first be defined is the term uh, author function. Foucault takes away the title of author from the individual who produces a text and replaces it with the author function, which encompasses a body of work that generates discourse. This author function, or uh, author as function of discourse, does not affect all texts in an interchangeable or exact manner. The author of a philosophical or scientific work is not as easily uh, definable or as apparent as, say, the author of a New York Times bestsellers uh, fiction novel. To explain the reasoning behind this, Foucault examines the author function uh, throughout history. 
As before the Middle Ages, the proper name author was only given to philosophical or uh, scientific discourse as a way to uh, legitimize a theory or discovery. Over time, this uh, defined author moved toward a less strict application and was applied to what Foucault would describe as ordinary texts. However, as the author function is concerned with a particular functioning role of discourse the author plays, it still applies to all forms of text, including that of philosophical, scientific, political texts, and so on. But here, the author is defined as separate from uh, those so-called ordinary texts. Foucault calls these the uh, initiators of discourse practices, and he provides both Karl Marx and Sigmund Freud as examples. These authors not only made the possibility of multiple corresponding discursivity, they produced a circumstance in which other discourse other than their own can emerge as being independent while at the same time belonging to what it is that they uh, initiated. To say that Freud founded psychoanalysis does not simply mean that we find the concept of the libido or the technique of dream analysis in the works of Carl Abraham. It means that Freud made possible a certain number of divergences with respect to his own text concepts, and hypothesis that all arise from the psychoanalytic discourse itself. Now, finally, after Foucault does address these uh, characteristic traits of the author function, he does say that there could be uh, a lot more out there to discover. But to sum up Foucault's ideas in the short lecture, in Concerning Criticism and Theory, he essentially asks the author if a text requires an author or if it is assigned an author. To answer the question, he propositions the author function, something that does not come about through spontaneity, nor is it a universal constant within a text. There are texts uh, that do not require an author, such as those of uh, fairy tales, or even say something like a knock-knock joke. It is something that is recognized through cultural constructions in which we see specific attributes um, uh, obtained by an individual as uh, being authorial. The attributes as being viewed as authorial are subject to change along with the change of cultural constructions. And finally, a text will always contain within itself signs that uh, invoke the author or create author function. For example, in narrative fiction, the author function will arise from differentiating between the author function and the writer in which the text is alluding to. Now, I know that I've been going through this uh, series uh, with uh, fairly short videos, hoping to set a basic understanding of, of, of what, what some of these theories um, uh, entail. But starting next week, I was hoping uh, to actually start taking texts and um, uh, start applying some of, uh, some of us, uh, uh, the ideas that we have discussed. And though I do have some texts in uh, mind that I want to uh, uh, do this with, I will come back to uh, theory and criticism in between going through the texts, wherever I, I, I see an, an, uh, an approach that I haven't discussed uh, 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 could be applied. But for now, I think I'll uh, leave it at that. And I do hope you uh, 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 have enjoyed this thus far. And yeah, I uh, hope to uh, see you next week.